Yes, please. May I please your lordship? Ah. I beg to mention item number six, lordship. I'm for respondent number three, four, five, and six. I'm filing my affidavit in opposition to, uh, in the course of the day, lordship. Few cases. Let us see the last order passed. Lordship. 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 Okay. Lordship. May I please your lordship? Let us see the last order passed. Few cases only. We'll accommodate everyone. Okay. May I please your lordship. Your lordship. I pray that I may be allowed to mention item number four on behalf of we, my. We, we, we will come to that. We will come to that. We will come to that. We will accommodate. We will come to that. Few matters. For admission, item number one and two. Yes, no, Mr. CT, you are not to be seen for a long time. I was outstationed for some time, but ah. uh, more or less. I Something is missing <laughs> without seeing your face. Yes, please. Uh, in terms of the Lordship's order on 25th July 2023, 25th July, application has been filed for enlightenment of the PHED. That order was passed, keeping in view of the fact that initial agreement with regard to the land has been entered with the Public Health Engineering Department, three okay. acres land. Okay. But in the meantime, it was a uh, Small town only at that relevant point of time. Which town? Mongolumba town. Mongolumba. Uh -huh. And in due course, so many new offices have been opened. And it so happened that all these offices were set up in that area, which was initially acquired by Public Health Engineering Department. Okay. Because the agreement between the landowners and the PHE department was pertaining to three acres of land, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. PHAD has already acquired. The present additional deputy commissioner office is also in the same land, uh -huh. but there is no agreement with any other department except with the PHAD department. Correct. The present case pertains to industries department, uh -huh. appointment of a grade four uh -huh. on the basis of land owner. But then since the initial agreement was with the PHAD department, it was, of course, on the last occasion, hurt to some extent. And Lordship was of the opinion that uh, it would be more appropriate to implement the PHAD for proper adjudication of the case. Correct. And in fact, that is perfectly okay. So we have filed the application and this honorable court was pleased to allow that application. And the PHAD has 
ED has been embedded as respondent number six. Okay. Recently, they have filed affidavit. Uh -huh. But uh, interestingly, the affidavit was filed just in order to counter our initial writ petition, okay. not so as to achieve the purpose for which this honorable court has directed the directed us to implement PhD department. Uh -huh. That was with a purpose, and that purpose is, yes, initially, the agreement between the landowners and the PhD department was for three acres, whether that area is occupied only by the PhD department or other office establishments are also there in the land of three acres, mm -hmm. which you have initially acquired. It uh -huh. was in 1981. So many years back. So PhD department ought to have explained and that in their affidavit, but they have filed the affidavit just almost opposing to any appointment on the basis of land owner. And they have made a point that one Mr. Ali Kaba was appointed and on completion of 35 years, he's retired. So in terms of the government policy, only one appointment is possible. That was with the PHA department and we have nothing to do with that. Initial writ petition was filed in the year 2020. After filing up the writ petition, two appointments have been made by the department. Which department? Industries department. Industries. In the same establishment, we have applied on the basis of landowners to consider if there is any discrepancy in terms of the standing policy, Lordship is well aware, clause 3A. Mm. Let it be sent to the district administration and verify. If we are eligible and entitled, then yes, my case may be considered because my application is lying with them. And if I don't deserve, then you reject it. That would happen the easiest way mm -hmm. of solving the problem. Mm. But taking advantage of the pendency of the repetition, two appointments the department has met. That is without interview, nothing. On the so, basis of uh, land ownership? No. On what basis they have met the appointment, I don't know. But they are not from our village, oh. the landowner's village. So they are not apparently the landowners and appointed. If it is left like that, then it will go on appointing mm. one after another. Mm. Anyway, the one appointment, one out of the two, one appointment was on commissioner crown. And the respondent number five is represented by Mr. R. Eralo. Commissioner appointment, anyway, we have nothing to say. Yes, there may be an issue that whether the right of landowner should be taken away and commissioner appointment can be given. But we are not against that also. So long as my case is considered, I have no grievance and no issue with regard to the appointment of respondent number five also. Mm. Another appointment was made in the month of March, very recently, for your Lordship's original and just blessing. 14 March, they have appointed another person in the On same what office. In the same office. On what basis? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> government will know. But we are not getting the government approval order. And unless we challenge the government approval order, uh, the writ petition may have some problem. That's why we are waiting for the, searching for the government approval of the second appointment. And we have pointed out by filing a new additional affidavit about the existence of one vacancy, clear vacancy. So I may be considered in that vacancy. So with that objective, we have filed an affidavit and that affidavit, taking advantage of our affidavit, they have got a vacancy and then they have appointed. So yes. we are contemplating to challenge this appointment also, but Miss, Miss, due to non-availability of the government approval order, we are not. Matter is pending and you are pouring in employees. So your Lordship, the stand of the industries is that your Lordship, there was no agreement as uh, submitted by my uh, learned counsel, your Lordship. <laughs> There was no agreement. I was telling you that there was uh, no agreement were executed exactly. with the industries and commerce. That is and my, that's why yes. uh, even the uh, appointment for the commission, it was done. And 
Maybe this one, it is not in my knowledge, Your Lordship. Uh, this, uh, it's just coming to my knowledge now. We have given a direction to implement the PHE. Yes, Your Lordship. Because PHE will be in a better yes, position yes, yes. to explain the status of the land. How yes. actually this was, this land were actually dispersed to the other department. Yes, Your Lordship. But the, that does not erase the land ownership. That is the issue. Your, uh, your Lordship, uh, as far as the industries and commerce is concerned, Your Lordship, the land was allotted to them by the uh, by the PHE. PHE. And, yes, and yes. who has allotted who has allotted the land to the PHE? And PHE has uh, entered an agreement with the petitioner. Ah, that is and why. now they are taking a stand that we have already given an appointment. And that person, who long time ago, we have already given an appointment to Ali Kaba, and he has also retired. So on we which we will not be able to. They are talking about you, you, uh, Mr. CT, you are also challenging the appointment of the private respondent in the present petition. Yes, we have challenged, and this one that, we, uh, we are that, yet uh, to challenge. That uh, that appointee on uh, compassionate. Compassionate. That yes that, yes. Later on, we came to know that it is on compassionate after filing the affidavit in opposition, because in the appointment order it is not mentioned. So if you are to challenge this, then what happens? If you are to challenge this new notification, if I challenge, you will have to file a fresh petition. Yes. yes. But due to non-availability of the government approval order, we are unable to challenge that. Because the vacancy which we have shown by way of filing an affidavit, from our affidavit, they came to know that yes, there is a vacancy, yes, yes, yes. and the department has taken advantage of that. Uh, So what do and we do now, now? Ultimately, Lordship, there is a danger. <laughs> Let the matter be pending in the court. Uh. We will keep on appointing one after another. Uh. An impression may be created in that Lordship. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> tomorrow, somebody may say that, look, don't go to court. Uh. If you go to court, you'll wait for another three years, four years, and ultimately nothing will happen. Just go to the department and get appointment. That will be the impression of the public lordship. Your lordship, where the you, non-existence you, of an agreement with the petitioner, your lordship, maybe with that bona fide, your lordship, in case the government might be appointing your lordship, because the petitioner never executed an agreement with the industries and commerce, and industries and commerce was under the impression that we have got this land now, by now way of allotment. Now you have come to the knowledge. Yes, that industries that. department they have acquired the land from PHE. Yes, you know, and true PSE, PHE mm -hmm. has acquired the land from, from the petitioner. From the petitioner. So that, now that is I clearly. think uh, I think uh, just because actually like uh, the industry department has acquired the land from uh, uh, the PHE. That does not erase the rights of the petitioner over the land. In that may be your lordship, but I think that that right should be rooted through PHE, not through industries, your mm -hmm. lordship, because the original agreement was made between the PHED and the and the and the land uh, and the land owners, your lordship. Not and the PHED is very clear. Whether PHED is having an office in that land? Yes, yes. your lordship. Lordship, by reading the affidavit of the PHED in paragraph five of the affidavit. They have clearly mentioned about the area of the land that is three acres and that is exactly the area of the land which we have also mentioned in our first which also petition. covers the industries yes. office but randomly we cannot just arrive to a conclusion assumption on the basis of the assumption that this is the same land let the direction be issued on consideration taking into account of all these factors let the phe be directed to file an affidavit to the that whether the initial acquisition of three acres of land from the land owners, whether other offices are also situated in this particular area or not. Only to that effect, if the FHE let is us see the, Let us see the affidavit of the PHE. Paragraph five, page uh, just three. Wait. PHED. Yes. This is the newly impleted respondent. Yes, sir. PHED. PHED. In paragraph 5, there is a affidavit in opposition for and behalf of respondent number 6. Yes. Ah, in page 3, paragraph 3. Page 3, paragraph 3. Yes. Four lines will be put in a plot. Page 3, paragraph 5. Ah. Top. Four uh, lines will be put in a float. Uh, 
three acres is clearly mentioned there. So if a direction is issued by this honorable court to the PhD department to well in a fit fit whether in the initial agreement it includes the land occupied by the industries department at present. Whether industries department land is coming within the three acres of land owner, PHA will know because they are the owner now. Your Lordship, we have already admitted, but if so insisted, your Lordship, we will no, file additional. They, they, they have actually, like, uh, I think, uh, admitted that uh, position. Yes. They have admitted. The wheat one, like, uh, land measuring three acres of land at Mangkulamba in the district of so and so has been executed. The so only, they have admitted. They ha the only thing is, they are not mentioning the specific office that, yes. The Department of Industries office is also situated within this three acres of land. From the affidavit, I try to find out what you you you, you are trying to create a tail. <laughs> not exactly on that, but then I tried to find out, but it's not available. Uh, so Mr. CT, I, I feel that uh, this is sufficient because then, is okay, Lord, this is sufficient Lord, because actually it says that uh, an agreement was executed with one Mr. So and so for uh, land me measuring uh, three acres at yes. Mampulumba. Yes. So I think uh, they have, they, they have uh, admitted that the agreement has, has been executed between uh, this a PHET and the landowner for three acres. That is there. But the appointment is seeking in the Department of Industries and Commerce, which is a different department. Let us let us examine the matter, but I think uh, we should not go to that extent, Mr. CT. I think uh, Lord Chief, that is okay. If a direction is issued to the district administration in terms of the policy, then uh, verify. And if I'm not eligible, then I may be out. If I'm eligible, then my case may be considered. In terms of uh, clause three. Where is Mr. Iralu, senior advocate? And I'm not against the appointment of uh, the respondent number five also. So long as my case is considered, I have no problem with her appointment, his appointment. What about the uh, next case? Same. There are two read petitions. Yes. Because during the pendency of, pendency of the first read petition, the respondent number five in the second petition was appointed, so we were compelled to challenge by way of this WPC 162 of 2022. There, we have challenged the appointment of respondent number five. And by filing a fit fit, they came with a plea that uh, the appointment was done on the basis of compassionate appointment. So that is also when it is done on compassion also. Okay, considerable. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, my appointment was made through compassionate uh, compassionate, and that is also true uh, the in the French office on the rabbit court. Whether if it is on the basis of the direction passed by this honorable court, whether there is a specific direction that the respondent number five should be appointed in that particular post in particular vacancy. No, but the uh, necessity, you are not agreed by the appointment of respondent number five. That is fine. So yes. let us not go to that extent. Your, uh, your case is only to give a direction to the deputy commissioner to verify in Lord terms Chief. of the notification issued by the government. Yes. If that direct, such a direction is issued, I think the petition... Yes, whether uh, your senior will uh, stand if for the case. You tell him to come next week. Yes, Lord. I think it will be better in the presence of Mr. Yerald. Okay. Any yes. other past? I think it will be good if the senior lawyer is also present. Okay. So what, what will happen to this new notification? You have to challenge this. Yes. <laughs> Where is that notification that uh, issued by the government? 
petition page page 42 there are two read petitions other service matter oh recast 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 so uh, this notification which 3c 3C. Three C. Three B. To verify if the if uh, you are seeking for verification. 3B, 3B. Mr. C.T. Jamin, the Venet Senior Counsel, assisted by Mr. I. I. Imchin, Venet Counsel for the Petitioners. Mr. C.T. Jamin, the Venet Senior Counsel, submits that. The read petitions, the read petition can be disposed of in the light of clause 3b of the notification dated 5 March 2018 issued by the government of Nagaland Land Revenue Department stop. Since Mr. R. E. Ralu the Leonard Senior, uh, the Leonard, uh, Senior Council for the respondent number five is not present in the court today. Uma, this court feels that any other past should be in the presence of both the Senior Councils concerned. Stop. The case is accordingly directed to be listed after any date Next week, okay. is accordingly directed to be listed on. Yes, ma'am. Any date? 23rd? Yes. 23rd? 23, 4, 2024. Okay. 25th, Wednesday. Thursday. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yes. On 25th, 4, 25, 4, 2024. Okay. Much of nice. Yes. Item number two. May I please, Your Lordship? Yes, please. Lordship, uh, I may be granted three weeks' time to file a reply. You're the counsel for the petitioner? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Sunso, mm -hmm. Learned Counsel for the Petitioner, he is granted three weeks' time to file affidavit in reply to the affidavit in opposition filed by the respondent number one. Where is allowed? Listed accordingly. Much applied. Interim order, Lordship. The interim order passed earlier shall continue till the next returnable date. Right. Item number four. Yes, your lordship. Yes, ma'am. Your lordship, I pray that I may be allowed to make a mention on item number four on behalf of my learned senior, Mr. Joshua Shakri. Yes. Lordship, kindly <coughs> grant us three weeks' time to file our affidavit in reply to the counter affidavit filed by the state respondents number one, so. two, and three. 
the Limit Council for the petitioner is allowed three weeks' time to file affidavit in reply to the affidavit in opposition filed by the respondent number one to three. Where is allowed? Listed after three weeks. <laughs> Item number five. Plotted on yes. the basis of the last order dated 2 for 2024. I filed a two, two for 2024. Second April. Two for 2024. I filed my reply to the affidavit filed by the state respondent on 8. Lordship, as I've made a mention even in the last occasion, since the petitioner, all the petitioners have retired now. And even the pension papers cannot be processed because of the matter that is, uh, of course, not pending just because of here, but not considering the matter. By the state reply, I have incorporated certain documents. The vacancies that were uh, the vacancies that are lying in the department by the time when I was given promotion, the earlier promotion, number one. Number two, they are asking for the effective date of my promotion to be made on the day of cabinet decision. So I have incorporated the cabinet decisions, which is the cabinet decision, which is not relevant in our case. It is only pertains to another other categories of the employees. So I've incorporated here. So Lordship, I want early disposals of the this petition. You have retired. Already. You have retired. Already. On 31st August 2023. And there was an assurance from the government to give you promotion. Lordship. You are processing. Yes. For yes. the promotion. For, for the what promotion. is the status? In fact, your Lordship, the the promotion has to be affected through a DPC. The promotions of the petitioners has to be affected through a DPC. DPC is set. But what happened is that your Lordship, there's an office memorandum issued by the PNR department, which says that the DPC cannot give retrospective effect promotion. And therefore, therefore, the DPC, though was willing to give them the promotion, but retrospectively, it cannot be given. So what now the department has done is that since the department has already assured that the, the, the petition will be retrospectively effect, uh, given promotion effect from the date of the cabinet given its approval, the department has again written it to the, to the government uh -huh. to consider that again, Your Lordship, which is pending disposal. Now, Your Lordship, if, if I may be allowed to make one submission as far as the cabinet decisions date is concerned. When, when was the date of the cabinet decision? Your Lordship, it is uh, on the 13th of... Uh, 13th of June, 2022. And the department has decided to give them retrospective promotion with effect from this date. From this date, Your Lordship. From this date. And cabinet decision and is annexed in my reply, Lordship. Yes. Page 10. And what happened thereafter? DPC set. DPC set, Your Lordship. Uh, but taking into consideration the notification issued by the PNL department. Yes, yes. The DPC said that they cannot give a, a recommend retrospective or promotion. Correct, correct, man. Because they are part. So what do you do now? Now, Your Lordship, we, we, uh, the government also, Your Lordship, the, it is not that the government is not ready to give correct. them the retrospective uh, promotion. Uh -huh. The government is ready. Just that, uh, Your Lordship, the, uh, since we thought that the DPC could do it, and therefore, we have uh, put up their matters before the DPC. Only during the, the time when the DPC said, the DPC members has brought out this particular office memorandum. Huh. Therefore, now, Your Lordship, as, as let us, uh, as uh, Your Lordship, uh, seventh of March, uh. 2024, Your Lordship, the uh, principal director has again written it to the uh, government, that is uh, the commissioner secretary, uh, to reconsider the case of the petitioner by giving them retrospective effect from this day that the cabinet has given its approval. The cabinet has already approved. Cabinet has approved uh, the promotion of the seniors of this uh, of this petitioner. 
Now, what happened is your lordship see? The seniors. Yes, yes. I don't get it. Your Lordship, if I may be, uh, no, I'm senior, allowed to explain. Senior, seniors means there, there are different categories of posts. Your Lordship, different category like female health worker uh, grade two, female health worker grade one. Subsequently, grade two is promoted to grade one. Then, from grade one, it is promoted to female health worker supervisor. Then, from supervisor, they are promoted to female health worker special grade. Now, your Lordship, the petitioners are promoted to female health worker supervisor. Huh. And their seniors are promoted from female health supervisor to female health special grade. Now, what the so, is- So the special grade comprises the seniors? Yes, the seniors. Now, what happened is your Lordship, the 20% vacancy- uh, just, uh, so, so this- uh, Cabinet decision, the benefit of cabinet decision was given to the seniors. To the seniors. To the seniors. Not to the petitioners. Not to the petitioners. Yes. But, uh, but, 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 Your Lordship, why is it done like this? Because of this, Your Lordship. The post that the, that the senior uh, persons were holding as female health supervisor was upgraded to, to female, health, uh, female health worker special grade. And since they were promoted to female health special grade, the vacancy that arose in the female health supervisor post, the petitioners was promoted on that post. Uh, However, uh, because the special grade post that was given to the, to the seniors was not approved by the cabinet, and therefore the promotion orders affecting the petitioners as well as the uh, senior uh, uh, special grade post, were kept in abeyance till the appro approval was given by the cabinet. Huh. Now the cabinet has given its approval. To the special grade? Yes. And now they are already promoted to the special grade. Uh, so, so, so the vacancy, huh. yes, now your lordship, the vacancy that has been created because of that promotion, huh. the petitioners are filling up in that post. Huh. So we are now saying that because the cabinet has given its approval only on that date, that is 13th of June 2022, the effective date but of promotion of the petitioner. 13, 13 June 2022, that effective date was only for special grade. Only for special grade, for yes. promotion of the special, uh, yes. to, to the special grade. Yes, but until unless your Lordship- Thereafter, Lord vacancy arose in the post of the supervisors. Supervisors. No, supervisor vacancy arose because of the promotion that's to the why, special grade. That's why I'm saying. Yes. Once the supervisors were promoted to the special grade. Correct, madam. Vacancy arose in the grade of supervisor. Correct, madam. Correct. Correct, Correct madam. And the petitioners were supposed to fill up that post. Correct, madam. Correct. Correct, madam. Correct. 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 But you, you are saying that you are submitting that uh, uh, there is no cabinet approval. Yes. For there promoting the petitioners to the post of supervisor effective from 13-6-2022. Not only the petitioners, but the person who were promoted from uh, female health supervisor to special grade. Huh. They, they don't have any cabinet approval. And therefore, the, the promotion given to even, the... Even, Mr. Enangami, yes. even as of date. Yes. Even as of date, there is no cabinet approval. No, cabinet is already given approval now. Yes, that's why. For yes. upgrading the post of supervisor to special grade. Correct, correct, my lord. Yes. Correct. correct that's, my lord. What, that's what I'm saying. Yes. For upgrading the post, so the supervisor, who were the earlier supervisor, they have now occupied this special grid. Correct, my lord. And yes. the supervisor post is now vacant. Vacant. Which, which was supposed to be filled up by the petitioner. Yes, yes, yes. Now we, we are now we are filling them up. We are filling them up by giving them that effective promotion from the day that the cabinet has given its decision. Yes, Mr. Secretary, I think uh, the government is doing something. No, not sure. uh, but in, in, the, in, in the mid somewhere, I think they got stuck up because of uh, the, 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 the memorandum issued by the PNR department. Correct. This Correct. consideration that is going on since 2020, June 2020, this consideration, which he has <laughs> submitted today, since 2020, so now it's, I think it's enough time, uh, maybe th more than three years. That is how Lord Chief, I have uh, filed the vacancy, the vacancies that were lying in a department during the time that promotions were given to us. Vacancy that I have shown, this is the record. 
and Lord Che. But the, they, but the, they should but not legal, confuse the squad. Lord see, Chair. legally speaking, you may not have a right to be appointed against the vacancy. Legally speaking, you may not have a right. Why With retrospective court? effect. Yes, that is the law. Uh, Lord Chief, so, others are the, they are considering. In that case, then the, the discriminations. Okay, you comes. get instructions. Let us see. But next time, discriminations comes. Next time, definitely you get that instruction. Lord Chief, Lord Chief. You, Lord Chief. if if you want to consider your case. Yes. The 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 I think the department has to tell the cabinet to actually like uh, to relax that uh, memorandum for the petitioners. Correct, 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 correct. Or, or, or because they, 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 even the government also has Mr. the intention. Kikri, if we strictly hear at this stage, yes. maybe, it is my view that uh, maybe we, this court may not be able to give you any relief. If something is done by the government in your favor, maybe you can stick to that, cling to that. No, no, Lord Chief. I have a right to be considered. You don't have a right to be I considered. Right. Yes, to be considered. Right. To be considered. That is the word. Yes, Lord Chief. Not to be appointed. You have that a right to be considered, proper... not a right to be appointed with a retrospective effect. Lord Chief, Please that keep is that in mind. proper, that reasonable justification. And uh, if, the, if, the, if the court yeah. gives a direction to the government, consider the case of the petitioner for retrospective promotion, the government will consider and the I government says that no, that, Chief, that is not as per the law. I agree to that extent. Lord Chief, in 2020. So we give time to Mr. This, uh, no, but Lord let Chief, him get at least some instructions in your favor. No, Lord Chief, but uh, for that issue, Lord Chief. 2020. No, if you, want that, if, you, if, you, if you want that really from the court to consider, we will issue out to consider. And the government may not consider. It is up to the government. Lord Chief, that's how I'm praying for to dispose of the petition on merit, Lord Chief. Sorry. But not to consider your, but not to have whatever, you. Lord Chief. But uh, see, that to, to just to dispose of one merit. Just, Lord Chief. Yes, Mr. Yes. Then in that case, Your Lord Chief, I leave it to my Lord. Because now, as, as I've already pointed out, Your Lord Chief, we have been trying. Submissions, we have been Lord trying, Chief. Your Lord Chief. So in that case, Your Lordship, since the, the letter has already been sent to the government on 7th of March. Let us see that letter. Your Lordship, it is on an extra age of my affidavit in, uh, in the position, Your Lordship. Uh, page 37, my Lord. An extra? Uh, age. Page 37, my Lord. That is the last page, my Lord. Your affidavit? Uh... Yes. Affidavit on behalf of respondent 1, 2, 3, and 4, my Lord. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yes. yes. The last page, Your Lordship, page 37. Page 37. May I read it, my lord? Yes. Lordship, the letter dated 7 March 2024, subject, forwarding of min, min, minus of DPC and proposal request for effective date of promotion for from AM FHW grade one to supervisor, AM FHW grade two to grade one with retrospective effect date that is 13 6 2022, hmm. as per the cabinet approval. Sir. With reference to the subject cited above, I am to, for, I am for, to forward my notes of DPC dated 4-3-2024. In this regard, I have the honor to state that the promotions of NM, grade, NM to grade one supervisor and NM FHW to NM grade one would not be taken up during DPC meetings held on 13-7-2023 due to their ongoing court cases by some NM F, FHW grade one. The petition has already been the petitioners has only been retired from service with a fair form 31 8 2023. However, the court has directed the department to send an action taken on or before 8th of March 2024 for a court hearing on 11th of April 2024. As directed of the of the court, the department held a DPC meeting on 4 3 2024, but could not take up since the DPC has not authorized to give retrospective date of promotion. It is therefore proposed that government may kindly consider the case and grant retrospective notional promotion for the retired AM FH the group grade one employees who are qualified for promotion with effect from the cabinet approval 136-2022. So let the government consider this letter, then, Your Lordship.
Yes, we give a direction to the government to consider this. Yes, my lord. Lord Chief, they are referring to a cabinet approval. And cabinet approval is pertains to other category of employees. So that is and why I'm not filling up my I'm, my promotion is not giving against the promotion or the vacancy posed by the my seniors. Prior to which vacancies were already there. That is how in 2020, with the approval of the PR, uh, the, the approval Mr. of the Mr. Kakre, you are making a submission as if you have an absolute right to the vacancy. No, that is where you don't understand. That is where you go wrong. The government has a right to consider your case, but you do not have a right to demand appointment against that post. That is the law. We direct the government to consider this letter. Heard, Mr. So and so, Lord Chief, in that case, then uh, see, uh, go by the merit. Let me make my submissions so that my submission can be recorded first. I cannot go by this because see, the cabinet approval is pertains to our issue. Okay, we hear you. We hear you. Though I don't want to give you any relief, we hear you. Frankly said, you don't have a right. You don't have a right. Yes, come. Lord Chip, uh, the case of the petition is here. The petitioners are only 16 persons. Mm. By all the data, 11-8-1988, all the petitioners initially were appointed as female health, work, health workers mm. in a department of health and family welfare. Lordship, when they were appointed, all together 81 persons were appointed mm. in the year 1981. Lordship, in the year 2003, I have a next government by seeing the, the promotions, the stagnant, uh, the promotional avenue, which is stagnant in the department and especially in respect of the family health workers. They have come up with a policy. I have an X in my application. You, I understand the fact you give me the citation that you have a right to be appointed to the post which was vacated. Give me the citation. I will go by law. No, Lord Chief. No, no, no. Kindly give the citation. I have understood you. I have if understood your case. A Lord Chief, so support your case with citation. Let us go by law. Give me citation that you have a right to be appointed to that post. Lord Chief, before going into Mr. Kekre, I have understood your case. I have understood your case. You were promoted, and because actually your seniors were not promoted, you were again brought back to the same position. After the seniors were promoted. You are actually making a claim that you have to be appointed to the, to the place where you were promoted. Now I want to let uh, I want to know from you whether actually you have any decisions on the issue as to whether you have a right to be appointed to that post. Yes, let us go by the decision. That by law. In that case, uh, ten minutes may be granted to you. Yes, I'll the rules. Yes, but that relevant citation. Yes, Lord. 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 So far as my understanding goes, you have a right to be considered. You don't have a right to be appointed. That is the law. Okay. okay. Item number six. Yes. Yes, Ms. Apila. Lordship. May I please, Lordship? Yes. Uh, I'll be filing my comprehensive affidavit today, Lordship, in the course of the day. Okay. Lordship, on behalf so of? Let the matter. Come on behalf of? Respondent number three, four, five, and six, Lordship. Okay. So if the matter can come up on 2nd of May, Lordship. MS Apila, the learned counsel for the respondent number three, four, five, and six, submits that. She will be filing the comprehensive affidavit on behalf of the same respondents. Three, four, five, and six on yes, the logic. And therefore, submits that the matter may be listed again on second May logic. Two, five, 2024. Prayer is allowed, listed accordingly. 
Oblige Lordship. Item number seven. May I please, Your Lordship? Yes. Your Lordship, I'm appearing on behalf of Advocate Tushit Engine. He is indisposed. So if this matter can come up after a week. I'm a censor. Learned Council. Uh, Emma Swenson, Learned Council makes a mention on behalf of Mr. Tushitanjan Pongana, the Learned Council for the petitioner, <coughs> and seeks a gentleman of the case after a week. Prayer is allowed, listed accordingly. Okay. Much obliged. Item number eight. Yeah, this is Lordship. Lordship, I pay to mention on behalf of Avitoli Lordship. Yes. It's few weeks time, maybe granted to file my counter Lordship. Okay. MS Supungcha makes a mention on behalf of. MSAIME, the Leonard Government Advocate, and seeks a general of the case for two weeks to file affidavit in opposition. Prayer is allowed, listed accordingly. Okay. Much a pleasure. Item number nine. Item number nine. Item number nine. Yeah, please, Lordship. Yes, please. Yes. If Lordship, can you allow me four weeks' time, Lordship, to file affidavit in reply to the affidavit in opposition filed by the. Mr. Sainso, Leonard Council for the Petitioner is granted three weeks' time to four, file four affidavit. Time, Three weeks time to file affidavit in reply. Prayer is allowed. Listed the call. Okay. Worship just an interim motion. The interim order passed earlier. Shall continue till the next return of the week. Apply tomorrow. For orders, item number 10. Yes, ma'am. Your Lordship, service report on respondent 9 is still awaited. Postal receipt has been typed. A waiting service report on respondent number nine listed on after two weeks. Your Lordship, I'm for the respondent number one, two, and three. My presence may kindly be with MS V and Terry appears for the respondent number one, two, three, and four. Not four, one, one, one two, two, and three. three. Okay. Yes, Your Lordship. Okay. okay. Item number 11 and 12. That is a lot. Service of the notice on uh, respondent, private respondent number 6245 and 31820 to 183 is still awaited. So if Lordship may please grant that, this is uh, 317. 317. Yes, Learned Council uh, has not filed compliance affidavit with Learned Government Advocate or Lordship. Learned Council. Lord Chief, it is the uh, government advocate who has to file the compliance of compliance affidavit Lord Chief, upon the private respondent number 6245. 6245, Lord Chief. Which order? 12224. 12224, okay. Yes, Ms. Dimoni. Yes, Lord Chief. Let us give them some time to file the compliance affidavit. Lord Chief. Okay. MS, uh, Mr. Vijamoni, the Leonard Government Advocate, is granted another two weeks' time to file compliance affidavit on the service of notice to the respondent number 6245. 6245. 6 okay. Okay. What about the other? 318. Same. 22. Twenty to one eighteen. Twenty to one eighteen. Twenty to one eighteen. 
respondent 20 to 180. Okay. To respondent 20 to 183. Oh, 20 to 183. Oh. Yes, next. Item number five. Yes. Yes. No one can check. That is if only going by the citation. I have yes, I want to go by law. That's all. Nothing yes. more. Facts too, I know. Yes. I want to go by law. So if you have any law in your support, give me. That's all. Then logic that uh, this Nabi refutes should be given to you. Say, Mr. Kekri, this court is of the view that you should take advantage of the letter written by the director. This court was of that view. They submitted by the learned counsel for the petitioner, listed for hearing. On 23. On 23 for 2024. Uh, for hearing, I have to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Computer section, code one over. <laughs> 